Good morning, everyone. This is going to be like a, just a, a major step in finishing off this chessboard. I don't have fancy equipment. I don't have a, a drum sander or like a big wide planer to run the chessboard through to make it beautiful. Uh, I do have ugh, a belt sander. And so I'm going to grind away on that. There's a couple places. Come on in closer. Take a look. I have a couple issues here. One is the uh, plane is not the, all the same. The, 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 uh, the oak and the maple were different thicknesses. So I'm dealing with that. I should have planed all of it first before I, both boards. I, I just thought they would both be the same thickness. Also, I have a little gap here. Um, I'm hoping, hoping I can just take fine sawdust, fill it in the hole, and put some glue in there. After I've, after I've sanded it all down, I'm going to experiment with that. But overall, it feels really good. I'm going to use the belt sander. And then I'll go to the orbital sander. Get this baby perfect. As perfect as I can do it. This is still glued <laughs> to the table, so uh, I don't have to move it around at all. I can loosen it up once this part's done. The nice thing about corded tools is they love to get hung up on something. All right, time to break this loose. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> All right. I got, got the, uh, everything pretty well cleaned up. There was, I have one issue here. I think I saw a little space somewhere else. My thought was I would run some of this fine, fine sawdust in here. I actually gathered up a bunch. Look, let me just show you that. I gathered up some of the really fine saw, uh, dust from running the belt sander. And I was going to just dump some into this, try to work it in. <laughs> Kaya. So you can see this gap here. I saved some of the sawdust from the belt sander, and my thought was I could dump some of that in. Come on. Very fine stuff. Just work it in. That looks really good. I'll put a, just a dab of glue in there. I think I'm going to experiment because I was curious if this would take care of it. You can see I have some tear out there. I have to trim this edge and the other edge still just a little bit. There's some unevenness. So I'm going to see if that works. There's, I think there was another spot, but I'll look around. The belt sander was pretty aggressive and it put quite a few lines in it. I'm trying just, I see uh, some here and here in the maple. One there, some there. Seems like the, uh, the oak doesn't seem to show any. Well, we'll uh, I'll just see if I can get some of those out. This is 220 grit. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry about that. I had said it was 220. It was actually 80. It's a really coarse uh, sandpaper that, to take this down more. Now I'm going to 220. Making sure I line up these holes. This will be my final sand on the board. <laughs> I'm really pleased. Boy, that feels so good. Wow. And I'm pleased with how the, I don't know where, somewhere I filled in, I had shown the uh, little slots that were missing something. I think that worked great. Okay, next step. This is the back side. I'm just going to roughly go over it, knock the high spots down. I'm going to be gluing something onto the back of this. So now I'm making a backer for the chessboard, and it's also going to be four inches longer on each end. to create a, a little uh, shelf, so to speak, for the chess pieces as they fall to be placed on. <laughs> chess board, meet backer. This is a uh, eighth inch, quarter inch Luan. The colors are really, really good, I like that. I like the grain. This is a really straight grain uh, Luan. The grain is all going this way on the chessboard. So I think that matches up really well. So we'll get this spaced correctly. And then we'll glue that on. I'm going to add some to the backer just for the fun of it. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I made a line on each side, but there's a, mark, a specific mark on the side for the chessboard to match up to. This is well with inside the lines. I don't want to get any out here because I'm going to be uh, putting a finish on that as well. There will be a band of hardwood all the way around the edge. I put a mark on each end so I know right where to go. Hi puppy. I like it. Okay. <laughs> now, press it down. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put any weight at all on it. It's sitting really well. It's nice and tight here. I think I'll leave it as is and we'll let that glue dry. On to the next thing. I decided after all to add some weight. So I'm going to add a uh, a piece on this end and on the other end as and then there'll be a piece that comes along here there'll be a reveal of about an eighth of an inch so I'm going to rip this one down so that it equal so that it's smooth to this right here so I have to make uh, another piece or I'll rip this one down I only have one so I've got to make two of them so I'll do that while the glue is drying Put a good healthy bead of glue right in here. It's 
So I ripped these, uh, pick the best side. Feels good there. I'm just going to put a, a block against that and then I'll put a pipe clamp or a clamp on each side. That feels really good. <laughs> My clamp doesn't go, I gotta use pipe clamps. feel good and they do it won't take much tension that looks real good I like that after this hardens <laughs> after this hardens I have just the perimeter <clears throat> to put on and then all the the wood, so to speak, is on, and then it's the finish. Should be really pretty, I'm hoping. Well, let's uh, take these clamps off. It's been setting for almost an hour. I'll have to clean that up. That looks pretty good though. I like that. <laughs> Don't fall off. <laughs> okay, we'll just let that cure a little more. Oh, so smooth. 